all in black today. I'm the man in black. Howdy folks, I got a pretty fun one here for you today. I got a suggestion from a viewer named Bob. Bob suggested I get this bottle and it was available here, which isn't always the case. I think it's super fun. It's Nixta Elote Liqueur. Got a couple of drinks to try out. Let's go. Okay, first off, let me just say, I really love a recommendation. Uh, if you have a recommendation, put it down in the comments. Maybe it'll lead to some inspiration. Second of all, thanks to Bob for putting down his recommendation that I get this Nixta Elote liqueur. Elote, as you may know, means corn in Spanish. And if you weren't aware, you may have deduced it from this amazing corn-shaped bottle. Now, this liqueur comes to us from a distillery in Mexico called Abasolo. Abasolo make a corn whiskey from a uh, heirloom variety of corn that they put through a process called nixtilization. Nixtilization is a very old, thousands-year-old process of uh, processing corn where you put it into an alkali solution and it basically cooks the corn, draws out the sugar, improves the flavor, and it's the reason you have things like masa, which leads to corn tortillas, and it makes things like hominy, etc. It's a super old technique that they do in Mexico all the time, and now this distillery is making whiskey from it. Furthermore, they're taking that whiskey, they're soaking more corn in it, and more hominy in it, and sweetening it, and then they're making this Nixta uh, Elote liqueur. The liqueur is 30% alcohol and it cost me $37, which is pretty reasonable. Now, this whiskey that they make is not currently available in Oregon or I would taste it for you, uh, but I'm hoping it shows up because it sounds pretty dope. All right, let's just give this a taste, see what we're getting ourselves into. Man, on the on the nose, it just smells like mm. corn tortillas. It smells like, like corn tortillas or, or tortilla chips, maybe. Um, just super duper corny, that's all I can say. Give it a taste. More of corn tortilla flavor. <laughs> Just 100% corn tortilla flavor. Yeah. Uh, a little bit of maybe like other kinds of corn, like corn on the cob maybe. Like it's a little bit buttery, like a, almost like a like a buttered popcorn kind of flavor. It's it's sweet, but it's not super sweet. It's not uh, like cloyingly sweet. Um, it's kind of a nice balance actually for a liqueur. Um, I'm hoping this works out good. I really actually. It tastes pretty awesome. Well, this tastes pretty good. Now, I've got a couple of ideas of how we can use this. Still got a couple ounces of my cornflake infused mellow corn. So I thought, why don't we make a corn sweetened, cornflake infused mellow corn sour? That's triple corn. Let's try it out. <laughs> Let's try this corn sweetened, corn flake infused mellow corn sour. That's a mouthful. Mmm, well, the corniness of the elote liqueur really comes through on the nose. But I'm also getting a corn flakes kind of saltiness. This is my first time trying this one. This is the last two ounces of mm, corn flake mm. infused mellow corn that I've got. Okay. This is very dry. The corn the corn liqueur doesn't sweeten that much. This probably needs a little bit more sugar, unless you like a really tart drink. I know, for example, Auntie Susan really likes a tart drink. She might like this. All right, so that corn liqueur may not be as sweet as, say, Cointreau. It might not be sweetening this as much as you might want. It might need a little bit of sugar, but this is the last of my corn flake infused mellow corn, so I it was just, sort of guessing at the proportions, but the corn flavor really comes through. I mean, 
Sours are amazing. This one's a little tart for my tastes, but you get the idea. This is definitely something that you could make if you had this corn liqueur um, and, and you could dial it into your tastes. Very solid concept. So, but moving on, I had another idea. It was to make a sort of Mexico themed old fashioned, maybe do tequila or mezcal and Oaxacan rum in sort of an old fashioned with the elote liqueur as the sweetener. I tried this a few days ago and it was okay, but I think I had a little bit too much going on. I was throwing a lot of uh, different things in there. I also put uh, Ancho Reyes in. I decided to move in another direction. The other direction I moved in was to do an El Presidente riff. El Presidente, as you may know, is probably my favorite drink. Uh, I find that it's pretty easy to riff on as well. And to keep it thematically on point, I decided to go get a bottle of this Vago Elote. Now, if you're not familiar, Vago is a mezcal uh, bottler. Uh, they make a lot of really good uh, mezcals. If you are interested in mezcal, you should pick up a bottle of Vago at some point because it's really very, very good. So for Vago Elote, they take toasted corn, they put it in the still when they're distilling an espadine, and it gets a sort of corny flavor to it. it it's basically like a, a corn pachuga, and it's it's pretty good. It's pretty good if you're sort of just branching out into mezcal. It's not the most challenging one. It's got a little extra sweetness. It's it's pretty good. Anyway, an El Presidente with Vago Elote, that sounds perfect. I'm actually gonna split the base with tequila because I found the Vago Elote a little too overpowering in this drink. We're gonna have Comotes Blanc Vermouth uh, that I still have from uh, the other week. We've got uh, Elote uh, liqueur for the sweetener, and then I've got, uh, I've got this hibiscus uh, syrup that I'm gonna use in place of grenadine. It makes a pretty good substitute for grenadine, so this should be pretty good. And I'm gonna call it El Rey del Elote, which means King of Corn, so that is a, a very good name, of course. And it's also the name of a restaurant in Tucson, I gather. So let's mix this up. did it. Uh, this looks amazing. The sort of jewel pink color on this is fantastic. Let's give it a try. Mm, it's, it's got a lot of tequila on the nose. Not getting the corn on the nose. This is my kind of drink. It's a little bit more sweet mm. than, uh, than the sour mm. we just had. Um, you get the corn okay. as sort of a corny aftertaste. If you've um, if you've had El Presidente's, it usually has sort of like an orange uh, and the grenadine as the aftertaste, but this gets this sort of corn hibiscus aftertaste. Oh, man, that is very soft. It goes down super easy. Um, we could tweak the proportions of tequila to, uh, low to, to, to mezcal to sort of dial in a little bit more sharpness maybe, but this is a very good concept to me. It's got like a dry corn sweetness and that doesn't make a lot of sense but that's what it feels like to me it's a soft drink with like a dry start and a and a sweeter aftertaste and that corn just a little bit savory at the end i mean this is it's a pretty good journey uh and you know i love a theme you know i love king of corn all right so conclusions nixta uh, Elote liqueur. I think it's really pretty good. Uh, I really enjoy it. It's, it's different than anything I've ever had before. I've never had a corn flavored uh, anything really besides corn and, and it's so it's kind of cool in that way. It's a little bit savory if you like like a savory cocktail uh, or you're looking for something sort of out of the ordinary this is definitely for you. It is not 
I would say definitely not an essential bottle, but if you're looking to spread your wings a little, if you're looking to branch out to something a little bit out of the ordinary, this is definitely a good place to start. Um, yeah, so hopefully that was fun and or informative. Uh, if you have any suggestions, uh, put them down in the comments. Uh, I really appreciate Bob uh, putting that recommendation to buy this Nixta Elote Liqueur down in the comments a few videos ago. So you can do the same, you've got nothing to lose. All right, in the meantime, thanks for watching and we will see you next time. Thank you.